Hi, this is Anne from The Useless Crafter. All right, this is a special request. Um, Jeremiah is turning one, and we're going to try to do a cake topper, and then we're also going to do a big off-the-mat one. So this one is for the cake topper. This one's off the mat. Um, the request is to make it as big as possible. Of course, this is a tricky image. Um, and the reason why it's a tricky image is if you look at this guy right here, this arm, if we want to make this seamless, which, you know, we can kind of cut right here, that won't be a problem. But the fact that this arm max can be 11 and a half inches, that means look at the rest of his body. If this is 11 and a half, this is probably maybe six inches. So you're only going to be able to do, let's say, 17 inches. So that's probably not as long as you want. So we're, I have a couple ideas. I'll throw them out there, and then we'll see where we go with that. But this is a really, really cute image for a cake topper. And probably I like my cake toppers to be about, I mean, under 11 inches because I don't want any cuts in it. Um, but I usually do about 8 inches. So what I like about this is, let's see, this is probably a good length. Um three inches or so right here. I would do happy first birthday um, going out this way. I think that's really cute. Or yeah, I would do happy first birthday. Okay, so let's, um, let's just type it out so you can kind of see um, what that looks like. So I would go to text and um, what's a cute one that I just saw? Well, you probably want like a Lion King font. So I would look on to font to see if there's one that's very similar to it. I don't think I have anything Lion King. I, yeah, no, I don't have anything yet. Um, so let me just, let's just use a font so you can kind of see what I would probably do with this. So happy. I would do first. Um, yeah, I guess birthday like this. Let's see. Happy first birthday or happy I'm trying to see where this originally, I mean, if we type out first, that might be another option because if we do this, And we ungroup it all. So let's just attach for now so that we can move it easily. I would do something like this. Maybe move this over a little bit just so that the spacing is a little bit better maybe something like this. Then I would probably do, I'd go to shapes and maybe do a circle. Okay. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to unlock this because I'm kind of creating a background. I know this looks crazy right now, but kind of just go with me here. <laughs> Let's see what this looks like. Because I kind of I want to create a background, so let's do this. Grab all four of these, okay, and we're gonna weld it. And this will be our background arranged sent to the back, right? So that so that our all our letters will go on top, so that they can just be cut individually. And so, like if we did. Um, and, you know, just imagine that this, hold on, what's going on here? Okay, and make this maybe white. I mean, I'm not suggesting these colors, but just so that you can see, it, it'll pop a little bit more. I would probably do some leaves and do that. Um, if you want a genuine outline, I would do it in Inkscape so that it is specifically to the shape of happy first birthday, which I do think would be cuter. You could do that here, add some like jungle leaves. Um, that's how I would do it. 
I would do, this guy is in so many pieces. I would almost, I think I would flatten him so that I would do a print and cut. Is it working? Okay, so it's flattening right now. So this is now gonna be a cut and print. So it's gonna print out, um, you're gonna print it, to, send it to your printer and it's gonna cut like this all around so you don't, he's gonna be one piece. That's probably how I would do this. And then I would make the rest of this a little bit more fun. Um, arrange, send to the front, um, you know, maybe some glitter letters, um, like I said, some leaves. What else is with the Lion King? Um, maybe the sun, I'm trying to off the top of my head think what, what I would do with that. But that's kind of where I would go with the cake topper. And then I would put two sticks, one stick over here and one stick over here. What I would also do is I would duplicate this guy. Okay. And this is what I would do. I would take this guy. Oh, hold on. So this one, let's, I wonder if I can do this. Grab this guy and our cloud background and weld it. Good. So we have a background. Okay, perfect. So I welded the two together so that you have a full um, kind of like background to make it really stable. I would cut this either heavy cardstock or poster, um, poster board from the Dollar Tree. Um, it will make it very stable. And then I would put all, this would be a cut and print. I would put it on top. And then this would be, you know, in whatever color and texture you want. And then I would do all the extras on top, like your leaves and all that stuff. That's how I would do the cake topper. All right. This guy, how I would do him big is first, let's get rid of this for now. Um, hold on, let me save this as the cake topper in case the special request person has questions, I can go back to this. All right, so now I'm going to get rid of this. This is now going to be save as Lion King off the mat. Okay. So what I would do is let's make him, oh, so what I was saying is to make him big, I would either, all right, you're going to have to stick with me. Go to images. I looked this up earlier. <laughs> um, I chose leaf because I thought we could do with these fronds. So let's insert that. Let's go to images. Let's also bring in a tree trunk. And I saw one that I thought would be easy to deal with. So give me a second to find it. Um, I don't remember scrolling this far, but I wanted this anyway. Oh, and here it is. So they're right next to each other. Okay. I know this color is funky. So let's change that color just so that we can visualize together. So that's gonna be dark. This will be maybe a lighter color. All right, so now the tree trunk looks a little bit better, right? Now this tree, I kind of like this because it reminds me of the Lion King, but I only want the tree. I don't want all this other junk that it comes with. So I'm gonna slice and let's see what we have here. So we don't need this, we don't need this. What is this? We don't need this. All right. We want just the tree, right? So let's go to contour and get rid of everything else that we don't want. We don't want this and we don't want this. And voila, there's our tree. So if we make this tree really big and be in the background, okay, and I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller so we can kind of see what we have. These are our options right here is because his max length is going to be, let's say, 16, 17 inches, and I know that's not what um, this person wants, the only way to add without doing seams is to add more to this image. So either add him like this and make both of these, oops, sorry, 
And the reason why I would add him here like this is so my tree doesn't become a problem. This is gonna be a piece, this will be a piece, because he's cutting into this image. The biggest part of the tree is gonna be this. So this length max is gonna be 12 inches, and this can be whatever 12 inches is this for this, this tree will be that high. Now, what you don't want is you don't wanna put him like this, because now this whole tree can only be max 11 and a half inches. Does that make sense? So if you put him right around here, let's say, um, you probably need to make the tree a little bit bigger so that it works. I would do something like this and just not even have this bottom tree. Um, so we could do this, then Let's see, we could probably make this right around here. So first, hold on, let me duplicate him. And I'm gonna weld him because I want him to be a solid. So let's put him right here. This is where we want our where we want him. So we take the black image and hit shift and hit the tree, we can slice this out and watch. I'm gonna go to the tree and I'm gonna contour. I don't want this bottom part. So now here he is, ignore that, ignore that. That's what he could look like. And this will give us a little bit more height to it. So we could do that or we could have him sitting on a trunk which is nice because that gives you the additional height too, right? So then if this is 11, this is probably, I don't know, nine inches and six inches, so 11 plus nine, 20. So this is now over two feet tall, like 26 inches, which I think is reasonable, all right? So those I feel are really our two options. Um, which one do I like more? I probably, um, I don't know which one I would like more. Um, the more stable one is gonna be this one up here. This one with this guy, because his feet are more um, straight, so he will prop up nicely on a table. And then the tree trunk, because it has this, this will be fine too. I wouldn't, I would say they're pretty equal. Like I find like that's pretty cute. Um, I don't know which I like more. Hopefully, I'm gonna say I like this one more. So let's go with this, okay? Now, the other thing I, or, oh, sorry, and I have this leaf. The other thing you can do is you can make him really big, and then you could put, uh, so let's put him in the back, arrange, send to the back, and kind of like put, three leaves in the middle. So you're gonna cut out these leaves. And then um, do text. And kind of have something like this, right? Maybe, um, I don't know what color, whatever color you wanna do. But what that does is it will then, this, his leg, instead of being one long thing, his leg is now split in two. It's this piece, which can be 11 and a half inches, and then this piece. So now, this can be a much taller guy. I actually like this the most, now that I'm looking at it. And I hope everyone else agrees, because that's the one I'm gonna go with. So let's get rid of this. This is kind of like what, I, I like this the way it is right now. So um, let's grab this whole guy, let's see, and let's make him, I don't know if I added enough to make him 30 inches, but, but let's try it at 30 inches, okay? So I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller. So here he is at 30 inches. Now what I'm going to do is let's, um, I like the placement of the leaves, so I'm going to grab the three leaves and I'm going to group them just so that they can move 
as one piece together, okay? And arrange, move backwards just so that the name is in the front. This is exactly how I want it to look, right? So let's grab this whole thing and duplicate it and then weld it because this is gonna become our black background. Everything is going to sit on top of this, okay? The leaves are gonna sit on top of these. These three individual leaves will be beautiful and green glitter popping out, and they're gonna sit on top of the frame, okay? So this is our little background frame. So let's put him aside for a second. Um, and then, wow, all right. Um, we could, what could we do? We could just slice it in half. All right, I think I know what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, let's ungroup this guy. Let's see how big everything is, okay? So this is the face. The face is 13. So it's a little bit too long. It's 13 inches. Um, I would slice the face, let's see. Um, you could take off the ear. So this is what I would do. Um, let's take our shapes. And let's do, you know what, let's do text. Bring in I Love Glitter. I Love Glitter is from Defont. And I like these brackets. These are um, the left and the right. It's to the right of the letter P. It's the straight brackets. And it gives me the nice little curve that I like. Oops, hold on. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to grab this. Okay, let's ungroup this. So, I kinda wanna slice to match this and separate his ear. Do you see what I'm saying? See, I don't think that this is very noticeable and this is gonna look kind of natural. Um, hold on, let me grab this whole thing and move it down a little bit. Okay, here we go. So let's see if I can make this. So that's gonna cut like that. So now his ear is gonna be separate, separated from his face. I don't think that that looks that bad. So let's grab that, grab his face and slice. Okay, and then let's pull away our slice results. We don't want that don't want that and we don't need this little piece so he went I don't think anyone would notice that this ear should be connected here it looks pretty natural but now this let's see how big it is hopefully I did it correctly so this is in two pieces duplicate it because we're gonna separate it by using contour so go to contour and let's separate out just this part Oh my God, it's still too big. So it's 12.8, but I think I can move this a little bit more, a little bit more. There, okay, so by moving it over, it's now 10.3 this way, 10.7. It is technically still the same face, but I'm just tilting it this way, so I'm kind of tricking the system that, hey, you can cut this on an 11 and a half by 11 and a half piece, okay? On this one, we're gonna contour. We only want the ear. So here's our face. Our face is now in two separate pieces and I don't think you would know any better that it shouldn't be two different pieces, right? So here's piece one and then here's our ear. Does that make sense? So I, I like that a lot actually. <laughs> All right, so here's our face. Um, let's see what else do we have. Oh, all these are single pieces, so that should be easy. Now the other thing that I noticed is he's a lot of colors. 
I don't know if he needs to be that many colors. Like, I don't know if these three things should be three separate colors. I might just go up here and start changing the colors. Like, this is way too many shades of cardstock. I'm not a fan. So actually, give me a second. Let me put this back and let's minimize this first with the colors because this is way too many colors to, to deal with. At least uh, I don't like to deal with more than, I don't know, like five colors. So this is quite a bit. So let's go over here and see what's going on. So like, I think his ear, this, uh, let's see, hold on, let's color sync and see what we have here. So this is his face, his ears, or his, yeah, his face and his one ear. Um, see, the two eyes are different colors. Uh, it's gonna be one color. So now the eyes, the ears, and the tail are all the same brown. I'm good with that. What is this? This is some little, I don't know, these are all little pieces. I would say, yes, he should have a two shades in his, it's, you know, the fur right here, this and the toes can all be the same color. So let's make sure that they are. They're not because I can see, I think these are the toes. Um, I'm just trying to figure out what everything is. Here's his whole body. His whole body, I think, should match his face. So let's move that up here. So now it's one, oh, wrong color his face there that still looks good this is his tail his tail should also match his body it's like just a slight variation but you would have been going crazy dealing with all the different colors um i don't know what these things are what is that oh that's the inside fur the inside fur should match with this right so where is that beard this is his beard okay so this should be the same color as his beard, as well as this. Okay, so do you see what I'm doing? I'm just looking at all the different colors. There's no reason why these two eyes are different shades. Same orange. Okay, so you have the eyes. I, let's see, yeah, the eyes. I don't know what this is, but it shouldn't be a different color because I don't even know where it is um this is the other you know what um what is this i'm gonna move all these to he's gonna be two colors he's gonna be this color and this color and the tail and the ears and all that so i'm gonna give him three colors two yeah so let's see i don't know what this is it's going here this is going here, this is going here. What is this? I'm gonna change that to the lighter color. So I'm kind of moving it around and I'm not even noticing what is changing. So that's when you know you're totally fine. So these are gonna be my three main colors, the dark brown, the darker orange and a light orange. Those are those are my three colors. Everything else needs to fall into that. So if this needs to be light, I'm putting it with the light. And do you see, I, I honestly don't even see the change. He's all looking the same to me. Okay, so this will be the darker. And this is the light. And then what the heck are these? These are light, so I'm putting that all light. All right, so he went from a bazillion colors and he looks the same with three colors, four if you count the orange eyes, which I feel like you could technically make it this color. Mm, see the change right here? Um, that's gonna be your call. I'm gonna leave it up here as orange right now. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted, is it this? No, it's this. 
Okay, so this is the color sync over here. I like it a lot. All right, I don't think he changed that much and he looks pretty good. Okay, so this is his whole torso. So yeah, you see he's a little bit too wide and too long at 16 and 17, right? So let's see what that looks like. So we are gonna take this piece and let's see, it fits right. Let's put him, oh, sorry, let's undo real quick and get it in the right spot. Okay, that's where it's supposed to be, right? So let's bring up our, go to layers and let's go find our leaves. Our leaves are all grouped together. So as soon as we find it, we can bring it to the front. Okay, here we go. Um, arrange, send to the front. Okay, and let's duplicate this for a second. We're gonna move this one over. These are the ones that we're gonna cut separately. Three separate leaves, beautiful leaves, um, and bright green glitter, I think would work. All right, so these three though, I'm gonna weld, okay? And I, the reason why I'm gonna weld is I'm gonna take this piece and where is his big body? Mm, there it is and hit shift and grab the body and we're gonna slice. So now he is sliced into a bunch of pieces that individually you will be able to cut on the Cricut. Okay, let's grab back our leaves, this one and this one, and let's weld it back together, okay? Because we wanna slice it out of this guy too. So grab this and this, and let's slice that. Okay, so now we can get rid of all our green. We don't need the green. And we don't need that. So this, these two we need to separate. All of this, 11.2 by 8.1, we're good. So he's 30 inches. Oh, this is just a little bit too long. I wonder if I can mess with this. Oh, do you see? So the way it's standing right now, it's 12.3 from the highest to the bottom. But if I just tilt it this way, it's 11.1 .1 by 9.2. Does not need to be sliced at all. It's gonna be one piece cut on 11 and a half by 11 and a half. So that's perfect. This is perfect. So these are all, I think everything is now good. Everything is, right? Yep, that's good. This is all good. Okay, so we can get rid of this black background because we have our big background that includes the leaves and his name, okay? His name is all good because it's gonna be separated. And let's put it in a different color just because I don't think you want it in that color. Let's, or let's put him in dark green. That might look really pretty. Okay, um, so the only thing we have to deal with is this. We need to ungroup this, right? And this. So, oh, this is actually 11.33. So I'm gonna leave it as is because we're gonna have a hard enough time degrouping this one, okay? So we don't need this, so let's get rid of this. All right, so with this guy, I would, I would probably just split this in half. So go to shapes, bring in your square, and we're gonna slice this image, okay? We're gonna do it like this. We're gonna slice it right there and split this piece in half. So let's slice. Um, so we don't need this. Right, so now this is 8.5 by 6.2. You can cut that. This one is still a little bit long, but I would just separate out this piece. So I want this to be broken up into two pieces, then I only need two versions of this and I'm gonna contour. So let's contour first and I'm gonna get rid of this piece. When I do that, this piece is now, why is it still too big? 
there's something wrong. It shouldn't be. Let's go to contour. Oh, it's this little guy. Is that what that is? Yep. Okay, so he's 11.1 .1 by 10.5. So that's now doable. Now this one, let's contour. Let's hide all. And I want this one. I don't want this. And so now this is separated. Everything is, um, you can cut on your Cricut. All right, so now we have just our big background. So he ended up being 30 inches and he is going to be seamless. He's going to look amazing. Now we need to slice up this guy though, right? So that's the meat of our project. Let's go to shapes. Let's bring in a square and let's make it 11 and a half by 11 and a half because that's most, oops, hold on, 11 and a half, there we go. Um, I use 12 by 12 cardstock, and so I like cutting it, or I'm sorry, I like cutting it at 11, actually, 11 by 11. I, the half inch, I don't like dealing with half inches, and in this case, having the half inch won't help you at all. So, Let's start by placing this first square. So let's place it here. Go over to your X and Y position coordinates, okay? This is just like it was in math back in grade school. This is your X and this is your Y coordinates. So basically, I'm just round to the nearest whole number. Place your box wherever you want to, like within this figure. And then let's just round to the nearest whole number. So this is 64.289. I'm going to make it 64. This is three point something, just make it three. So I'm saying go over 64 units and go down three units. And here's the tip of my rectangle or square. Duplicate this one, put it close enough to here. Um, then we can just round to the nearest whole number. So this is 75 and this is three. And now these two squares are completely flushed with each other. Then grab both squares and duplicate. So we don't need to redo it for the next row. We can just do two squares at a time. And again, round up here, 64 and 14. So now we have four squares that are totally flush with each other. You want to make sure because you don't want any gaps and you don't want any overlays. So let's duplicate this, bring it down and make this 64 and 25. Okay, so we got the tail to deal with. So I would grab now these two and duplicate and bring it over and make this 86 and 14. So we have, you're gonna have to slice this into eight pieces. That's how big he's gonna be, okay? Now, let's go over here and scroll all the way to the bottom Grab him and arrange, send to the front, because we want to see how we're slicing this guy. We want to make sure that we're not, for instance, what you don't want is you don't want something like this, where the tail is this little sliver. You don't want to deal with any small pieces. On this big image, you want him to be eight as big pieces as you possibly can. Like this is not good because this is going to cut out this little corner of his knee and then here and then this, that this little area becomes three pieces. We don't want that. So let's move him over. I think this is probably good because the, this whole tail is one piece. The ear, this all looks good, I think. Yep, I think it looks good. So let's start slicing. We're gonna be slicing one square at a time with the image. So this image is one piece and then each square. So grab like this and slice and then just make your way around <clears throat> uh, I got you okay now I'm going to show you what it looks like when you grab one too many pieces so let's say you do this this is two squares and the image even though what I'm picking up is a small area it's picking up three pieces and slice won't be available so you want to make sure you you stay in your lane, grab only two pieces.
All right. So I think he's, so what I would do now is I usually move them and I keep them in order so that I don't have to worry, I don't have to do a puzzle. Um, so when this cuts off the mat, when I see this piece, I know it's the tail. Here's the top part of the tail. Here's the middle piece. <laughs> and let's bring this down. And then let's get rid of all the slice results. You don't need any of that. All right, there he is. All right, so he is actually probably not going to take up that many that much paper because look at his tail. Could you could probably do something like this and cut these two together? Probably put this up here. So it's probably going to take six pieces of cardstock for his for his background. But let's go to make it just to see what we have. Okay, let's see which one is too big. Did I forget something? Oh, the name. Okay. Hold on. Let's cancel. The name. We just need to ungroup it there. And let's go to make it. Okay. So we have his, the eyes, the mouth, the iris, which uh, this, I would do um, orange glitter cardstock. It will make the eyes so pretty. Here you can probably move this up to make it more efficient. And so next time if you reuse this cardstock, you have all of this and all this bottom half to reuse again. Okay, this. See, look at his face. It fits this way. Okay, this is kind of crazy. I mean, you can either, depends on what you have. If you, you know, this is all reusable space next time so that's not too bad or you can start moving these things around like this one you can move click on the three dots let's move to the previous mat and let's move it to this one and so now you could put uh, maybe like right there and go to this one and move to another mat and move it to this mat. So we got rid of one sheet. You can do more. Okay. Um, this can be moved to the one with the tail, right? I think there's room there here. Um, so you can definitely move things around and make it more efficient. Um, but this looks pretty good. You could probably add a few more from here over there, or you can bring this up here. So this is one row and then move this one to the other sheet so that next time you have reusable cardstock that you can um, use for another project. That's probably what I would do. Right? Because next time you'll have from four to 12, you'll have a eight by um, eight by 12 piece of cardstock. Pretty good. All right. So here's our black, your background. Um, yep. It's five pieces. The name, the pretty little fronds. I don't know how big are these. I feel like we should be able to fit two on one. Let's double check. Move to another map and let's put it with this one. And let's see what we have here. Oh, so close. Yeah. Unless, can we do something like that? No, it's not going to fit. Oh, <laughs> it's cutting it so close. Oh my gosh. I don't. <laughs> I mean, we, we do have his name, so maybe, but um, yeah, I would just move it back. So let's move to another map, move you back to where you came from. All right, so that's it. I hope this was helpful. Um, 
leave me a comment post when you post your project. I can't wait to see his birthday stuff. Um, I hope it all works out for anyone else. Please just email me or comment. I would love to help you on your project. All right. See you guys next time.